Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, we are going to learn about decimals, multiplication and division. Doing multiplication and division in decimal numbers is really easy. So let's see them one by one. We will start with decimal multiplication. In multiplication, we can have two or more numbers. Here I have taken two decimal numbers. Doing decimal multiplication is just like normal multiplication. Initially, we can completely ignore the decimal points of given numbers. We will start multiplication by multiplying each digit of first number with unit digit of second number. Okay. Now we have multiplied our all digits of first number with the unit digit of our second number it's time to use our tens digit of second number because it's a tens digit before doing multiplication we will write one zero here and now we will start multiplying each digit of first number from tens digit of second number and we will do so right left okay after multiplying first number with all digits of second number it's time to do addition like multiplication addition also happens from right to left we have got the result of multiplication of these two numbers but remember we have decimal points also so now we have to look how to add decimal points to the result if we look at our first number we know it has got two digits after decimal point and if we look at our second number we know it has got one digit after decimal point so in total we have got three digits after decimal point so if we look at our result we have to count three places from right to put our decimal point so we will place our decimal at this point so our final result will be 168.383 so now let's look at another example here also i have taken two numbers and we will write number like this and we will start from units digit of second number okay before starting multiplication with tens digit of second number we need to put a zero now we will multiply each digit of first number with tens digit of second number It's time to do the addition. To place the decimal point in the result, we will count the digits after decimal point in the given numbers. So in first number, we have got two digits. And in second number also, we have got two digits after decimal point. So in total, we have four digits. So in our result, we will count four digits from right to left. But did you notice that we have got only three digits? So what we should do in this case, we will add a zero and then we place the decimal point. So friends, it was really easy to do the decimal multiplication, right? Now it's time to learn about decimal division. To do the decimal division, we need to remove the decimal point from the dividend, means second number. We will write our numbers in fraction form, where the first number will become numerator and the second number, which is dividend, will become denominator. Now, if we look, 
to remove decimal point from the denominator, we have to shift it to places. We have shift the decimal in denominator, but remember in fraction, whatever operation we do in the denominator, we have to do that in numerator as well. So we will shift the decimal in numerator as well. Okay. We have shifted decimal points in numerator and denominator. But in denominator, we notice that the decimal point is just lying, so we can simply remove it. After removing, our numbers have become 105.91 over 17. To divide them, we can write them like this. So friends, decimal division is also like normal division. Now, to divide the number with 17, what we will check? We know that 1 is less than 17. Then we will take 10. 10 is also less than 17. Then we know we have to take 105 because it is greater than 17. If we do 17 times 6, we know we will get 102. After subtracting it, we will get 3. But 3 is less than 17. So in this case, we have to take the next digit, which is 9. But before 9, we have a decimal point. So to take 9, we have to add decimal point after 6. Okay, so now we have 39. And we know 2 times 17 is 34. After subtracting, we will get 5 and 5 is less than 17. So, we will take 1 and we know 3 times 17 is 51 and if we subtract it, we will get 0. So, we have completely divided our number with 17 and after dividing it, we have got result as 6.23. It was really easy, right? Now, let's look at another example of division. Here, we have to divide 3.5 with 4. Friends, you might have already noticed here in the second number, the dividend, we already not have any decimal point. So, we, we can directly write it like this. Decimal division or any division always start from left to right. So if we look at the leftmost digit, which is 3, it is less than 4. So what we do in this case, we take the second digit to make it greater than 4. But to take 5, we notice that there is a decimal point in between. So what we will do, we will write a decimal point first and now if we do 4 times 8 we get 32 so after subtracting it we will get 3 now 3 is less than 4 so what we should do we have not get any number left so once we add decimal point we can add 0 so we will write it as 30 so now we know 4 times 7 will be 28. If we subtract 28 and 30, we will get 2. Again, 2 is less than 4. So, what we will do? We will add another 0. After doing so, we can write 4 times 5, which is 20. So, now we have got 0. So, after dividing 3.5 with we have got 0.875. So friends, with some examples, I have tried to explain decimal multiplication and division. I hope that it was useful for you. So now let's look what are the key notes for today. Okay. 
for multiplication always pretend as if there are no decimal point and multiply the given numbers after getting result count the total digits after decimal point in given numbers and place the decimal point in result counting total digits from right to left we have seen the example of it right if require pad the places with zero for division get rid of decimal from the second number which is dividend and then we can do it like normal division friends these are questions for today please write your answers in the comment section i will be waiting for your reply and if you find my video at all helpful for you please like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my channel it's free i make videos every sunday and thank you so much for watching my video